This problem is number 21 from the 2005 AMC8. I really like this problem because it's got multiple nice ways to solve it. Uh, one way to solve it um, is to go through and um, essentially count all the triangles. And, and probably the best way to do that is to do it in an organized way where you start with um, this, this one and think about, okay, how many triangles can I create that include that point? And then you wipe it out and no longer consider it and then go, and just do that with each of, the, each of the points until you're gone. That's the slowest way to do it. Another way um, to, to think about this, and this is the best way to do it, is to use a counting principle. And that's to realize that any triangle is a collection of three of these points. And so we use a combination formula that says if we have six points and we want to choose three of them, this is a, just basic combinations. If you don't know combinations, uh, I have some videos on my channel that can teach you about combinations. Just, just, just search for combinations. And so you do six choose three, which is found by doing six times five times four over three times two times one. Three times two is six, so that cancels. So there are 20 ways that you can pick three of these points. However, if you pick these three or these three, then it is not a triangle, it's a straight line. So we have to subtract away two of our triangles and we end up with a correct answer of 18. Um, this problem, and an extension on this problem, is if you add a th fourth point, and if you add a fourth point, you now, you do your same thing, except you start with eight choose three, but then you gotta figure out how many ways can you get straight lines, and so it's how many ways can I pick three of these four points? And so you have to do four choose three, and then do that for both of them, and then subtract away, which is also a really nice problem. And there's some other extensions that use that same counting principle. Um, a, um, another way to do it is to look at the different types of triangles that you can create. I think that's the hardest way. Uh, if you do that, then you make a good or you make a nice organized list and go about it. But the best way to do it is to do six choose three and then subtract away those two triangles that don't count.